So what, what am I doing now? Oh, let's rest up. D does the guild finally have any, like, uh, requests for me, though? Nope. Can I rest up here, or do I have to... Wait, Joshua. Wasn't Chloe coming to the capital right about now? Now that you mention it, she did say she'd meet us before the birthday celebration started. She should definitely be here by now. Hell none. There wasn't a girl about our age named Chloe who came around asking for us, was there? We'd promised to meet up here. Chloe, you say? No, I'm afraid no one by that name has been here. Yeah, she's been abducted. Aw, raspberries? Maybe we should have asked where she was staying. She mentioned some rich relatives. Though that's not much of a lead, I suppose. I'm sure she's simply running late and we'll try to contact you shortly. Yeah, dude, definitely. If she comes by, I'll be sure to let you know immediately. All right. I guess we just go to the hotel and rest then. Probably. Where is the hotel, like, up on this block? Yeah, right here. Yeah, she's totally not being held prisoner at all. Definitely not. So you're finally back. You sure know how to keep a fellow waiting? Hey, I know that voice. Yo, it's my boy, Niall. Good to see you, Niall. Have you been? Don't tell me you came here just to see little old us. Okay, then I won't tell you. I'm doing interviews with the tourney contestants for my article. I figured you folks would be my best bet for getting the inside story. I was hoping I'd get a chance to ambush you into an interview at the hotel. Ah, <sighs> you're way too good at your job, you know that? Well, it's not that we're not glad to see you, but this is you we're talking about. What's your angle? Hunting for the next big story, I'll bet. Ha! You wound me to the quick, kid. Wound me to the quick, that's a phrase. I've been like a big brother to you. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. And now you think of me as nothing but a news hound? We know you're nothing but a news hound. Not to mention the age difference is a little much for us to think of you as a brother. Oh, shut it. If that's how you're gonna be, then I'm leaving, and you're coming with me. Uh, I wouldn't mind a little night air before bed. Good, we're halfway there then. There's this quaint little eatery right next door to where I work. It's the perfect place to sit and talk. Hey, this is a nice little place. Feels less like a bar and more like a coffee shop. That might explain the smell of coffee. I hear the owner started up this place as a hobby. The brew here is amazing. Plus, he took some advice from someone later on and added curry rice to the menu. Curry with authentic spices. Th is this dude, did he take the advice from Coffee Daddy? Must have. If he's a disciple of Coffee Daddy, then he's good in my books. I just like the atmosphere out here though, personally. Have a seat, let's get this interview started. Not so fast. We were just in that big match, so we're pretty dang hungry. And I'm not about to smell food without eating food. Dinner does sound lovely about now, actually. Ah, uh, dang kids. Fine, I'll buy you dinner. And while you're stuffing your faces, you can give me the exclusive on any news you've found. And there's the pitch. By the way, isn't Dorothy with you today? Nah, I gave her something else to work on. Now come on inside with the both of you. Woo, the food in here sure is spicy. Tasty though. Nothing beats ribs covered in sauce with some potatoes that are cooked just right. I like dry ribs better. I like a good cup of coffee after a meal myself. I do not like coffee. I've always heard it's difficult to make it well. Ah, way to eat up a man's paycheck, you guys. I don't know how I'm supposed to afford all this on a reporter's salary. Now, now, it was a great meal, and great meals don't come cheap. Anyway, you were saying something about an interview? Huh, I could write a story about extortion. Anyway, there ain't been much to confirm that the Queen's really taken ill after the Guardsmen went all terrorist. What I need is some clear info that hasn't been combed over and cleaned up by the army. I heard a little... a little from Dorothy? About the kidnapping in Zeiss? Look, let me get right to the point. I know you've got Colonel Richard by the proverbial tail. I just need to know how hard you're holding on. Way to be blunt there. Sounds like you've already figured out an awful lot. I knew he was crooked. Before that interview in our magazine bumped up his popularity, he wasn't really well known or worth paying attention to. Seems like this guy's been planning his moves every step of the way. Right now, we can't say for sure that words that he's planning some kind of treason against the throne, but it does look like he's manipulating the Duke somehow. Duke Dunan. He's taking advantage of the Queen's poor health and acting like he owns Grand Cell Castle, all right. But what I don't get is why none of the military bigwigs are making their move. Well, about that. What do you think, Joshua? Should we tell him? Well, we could definitely use some fresh intel ourselves. As long as he scratches our backs, let's scratch his. Hey now, you two know something, don't you? 
We would have told you sooner, but anything we say from here on out has to be completely off the record. Hope you're ready for this. Aw, dang, I'm really not gonna like this, am I? But fine, say what you're gonna say. Ah, you said you were ready for this. That's just... No way. Are you really serious? I'm afraid so. The Special Ops soldiers were behind the Sky Bandit incident, as well as the arson. Not to mention the kidnapping of the Kingdom's greatest scientific mind. General Morgan is at the top of the chain of command, and even he's basically under arrest. All of the terrorist-style activities are being made out to look like the Guardsmen are doing it. Okay, enough! You've made your point! Darn it all. I can't even report a word of this. The Army censors already have their stamps all over the latest issue. They did their work at the final printing stage. Really? And I'm left with nothing to cover except for this dang tournament. Hey, wait a minute. You two have something up your sleeves, don't you? That's why you're in the tournament. You could say that. We can't give you all the details on our current request. We do, however, think that we need to make a move, just to break the deadlock. You don't say. Alright then. Since I can't do anything as a reporter, I might as well pitch in. I'll see what I can dig up. I've got a few... sources. With fingers in places the guild would never go. That'll be a big help. We love illegal stuff. Doing anything to oppose the military is gonna be a risky proposition, you know. Are you sure you're okay with this? Let me deal with that. Now's as good a chance as ever to prove that the pen really is mightier than the sword. Niall. Understood, thank you. Yo, shout out to Niall. Probably second best character in the game after Professor Russell, I'd say. Yeah, just leave it to me. So what do you want more information on? Info about the army's movements would be good. As would knowing whether or not all the Royal Guardsmen have been arrested. And also where General Morgan is being held. Got it. All stuff that I've been thinking about too. I'll check them out. Anything else? Uh, maybe some background info on someone in the Intelligence Division? Huh? You mean like a background check? On Colonel Richard, Captain Amalthea, and Second Lieutenant Lawrence. If we have to face any of them, the more we know, the better our odds. If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. And you can bet that the Colonel's working on the same principle. He'll probably be watching the fights tomorrow and the next day. Do you think you can manage it, Niall? I do know a few army folk. I can't get you anything classified, but I might be able to scare up that profile info. I was gonna say private instead of profile for some reason. Okay, then I'll see what I can do. Thank you, you're a lifesaver. We appreciate it. Hey, don't sweat it. You can pay me back by winning that championship and filling me in on what you hear at that dinner party. I figured as much. We'll do everything we can. Afterward, Estelle and Joshua returned to their hotel room where they retired early for the night. The next morning... That was my announcer voice chat. How'd you like that? I've been working hard on it. And by working hard, I mean I literally just made it up just now. Well, we all seem accounted for. Shall we be off? Our match is in the afternoon, just like yesterday, so we're free to do as we please in the meantime. We can stop by and get our equipment set up, and maybe even work in a little monster killing on the way. Oh, if that's what you're after, I know exactly where to go. Yep, got the key to the sewers. You don't say, that's mighty interesting. I hear there are some tough monsters down there, so maybe they'll prove to be worthy opponents. A Byzantine labyrinth, snaking out beneath this jeweled city. My adventurer's bosom strains its corset strings. Why I hate Olivier. I have no problem with that, provided that we have time. I think the entrance is just at the edge of Western Block's residential district. Chat, do I, like... Should I? Does it really matter? I guess I should go there and do at least a little bit of fighting to get the CP on Joshua and... What's-his-face back up. If nothing else. What's in here? Oh, there could be a request right now? Oh, yeah, I guess those do have to show up at some point, don't they? Let's go see. Got any of those dangled requests for me? Sewer Monster West. Well, we're going to the sewers, lads. A ferocious monster known as the Scissor Hands. Edward? All right, well, let's go get it. I did accept that, right? Yeah, I did. So to the west is a sewer somewhere? Should be a locked door that I can open with this old key? Not that. This is just like the residential district, it seems like. What's this, uh, what's that say on it? Sale. 
House for sale, easy conversion to restaurant. How nice. Oh, that's the coffee house we were just at with Niall, okay. Where, oh, where is this locked pathway? Oh, here's the chapel, I assume. Yeah, the cathedral, rather. Harbor District, unauthorized entry, prohibited due to security. Where the heck is the whatchamacallit? Up here? This is back in the north block. They said it's in the west block. It should be around here somewhere. That goes back to the main block. Oh, down here probably. This looks like it could be it. Oh no, this just leads back to the same spot. Oh, right here. There we go. Hello. There's a scissor hand somewhere down here that I need to punch in the mouth. Where you at, coward? Now oh, what do you what do you give if I beat you up? Preemptive strike! Punch this thing in whatever its equivalent of a face is. Did you just petrify it? Did did he just petrify that? I think he just petrified it, dude. That seems unfair. But I'm all for it. Punch it again? freaking dead yo give me all that blue was I ever, was I ever able to make that HP 3 I wanted or mines 3 whatever it was I made yo that's a lot of experience we should try and get to at least level 28 if not like level 29 on a cell in Joshua I definitely made something using blue because I'm very low on blue I might want another mind 3 or HP 3 if the enemies down here all drop a ton of blue I mean that was 30 blue that wouldn't take very long to grind up really Punch. One punch! Ooh, defense up and healing? Hate that. All my homies hate that. You got plenty of CP. Throw out a throw out a comment. Pierce that defense. Alright, I did nothing. Can you not? All right, so these enemies are just designed to be annoying, duly noted. Once Joshua and Zin here, Zim, whatever his name is, can start getting some hits, they really uh, take him down quick, though. Oh, he got petrified again. Yo, petrification, OP. Pliss never nerf. Behold this glorious damage. Get the petrification. Petrify him. Rip. Yeah, dude, superior guard, that'll save you. Are you, like, weak to an element? Oh, I could have been using anything that wasn't water to speed this up, but whatever. I'll make sure to aerial him in the future. And... dead. Later, loser. Not done yet. Yo, blue and black gain is, uh, pretty ideal. I was going to avoid this enemy, but then I stepped into this enemy, so we will now be fighting this enemy. Ooh, baby, that damage. Please die to this. Think you died? Gamer moment. Petrify. I'm a gamer. It's not hacks if you call it. It's just called being good at the game. That's that thing. Bam, 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 bam. Can't turn my dang camera at all. What's in here? That's clearly the way to keep going. What's back this way? I gotta find this dang scissor hands. What are you, you freak? What's in here? There's so many branching paths, I hate this. There's so many different ways I could have gone. There's no way I'm going to be able to keep up with all this. How am I going to find this scissor hand thing in here? There are a lot of you? Oh, great. Poison. Ow. 
You guys lined up for a flicker nail? That would be nice. Yeah. All right, good damage, good damage. Good punch. Later, loser. Mantricore, welcome to stream. Can you stop poisoning everyone I know and love? And also, like, just die, ideally? Check this out, losers. Quick draw! Bow, 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 bow. I should use crafts. Yeah, but Hurricane, why not? I just need to use CP. Nailed it. Petrify powder. No, no. No petrifying. What is with all these enemies having uh, buffing healing moves? Die. Later, sucker. Oh, you're so dead. Yeah. Goodbye. Giga dead. Yo, big experience game. Easiest level up of my entire career. Oh my word, all the red and green. It's Christmas. Hasio, thank you so much for subbing. It's here one for six months. Greatly appreciate it, bro. That's gotta be scissor hands, dude. Look at his hands. Look at his dang hands. We gotta heal before that. Haven't been able to watch live for a while. Been watching along on YouTube. That's what the YouTube VODs are for. Thanks for watching, man. Sorry you can't make stuff live, but you know, better, uh... Better on YouTube than, uh, than nothing. Should've been using Tira. There we go. Alright, scissor hands. Get exterminated. Oh. My. Goodness. Isn't Joshua's ult it, like, hits everything on the screen? Hold up. One hit. We steal that crit with Joshua. Also, your ult will hit multiple enemies at once. And I don't know about your ult, but we're about to do a lot of ulting. I want Joshua to take the crit. Yeah, because it just hits everyone guaranteed. Go, Black Fang! He just doesn't stop. Ah, oh, they're all dead. All right, well, I'm a gamer. Did you see where they had like 17 turns ahead of them, but then Joshua was like, ha ha, no. <laughs> that was pretty great. But anyways, yeah, Hasio, I, uh, I make no promises, but who knows, maybe, we'll see. If I do end up playing more Trails games after this one, it definitely won't be anytime soon. I say, don't you loot me once before? Didn't you loot me once before already? I say, bye, Jove. But, uh, it definitely won't be anytime soon, regardless, because I have too many new games coming out, but maybe. Time will tell. I don't think you have any multi hit moves other than your ult. Punch. You need to start building up CP again. And then you you can do a quick draw here. All four, baby. Get them. Nice, nice, nice. That one's dead. Do you have, like, a buffet? You have morale? Maybe I should start using morale more. I feel like I, uh... Unless it's a good time to use hard break, I feel like Estelle always has all of this CP but nothing to do with it unless I want to use her ult. What all new games are you planning to play? Uh, Fire Emblem Three Hopes comes out in like 11 days, like a week and a half, give or take. You got the most HP. I'm gonna be playing that when it releases. Uh, Stray comes out in the middle of, in the middle of July, like July 17th or something. I'd really like to play that if I have the time for it. Wow, you really can't get close enough. I bet Sniper Shop will get it though. Nice. Uh, Digimon Survive and... What's the other thing? Digimon Survive and Xenoblade Chronicles 3 both come out on the same day. July 29th, I think it is, which is a nightmare. 
I'm gonna be playing both of those as soon as they come out. And then Atlas is releasing that Soul Hackers 2 game. August 25th? August something? Something in August? So from July 24th to like August 25th in like that two month period of the end of June to the end of August, there are five video games coming out. Five new games all coming out like at the same dang time. Lost Evolution hopefully around that time. I hope not. I hope Lost Evolution doesn't come out until, like, November. I don't have time for it. The chest is empty because you emptied it, thief. If Lost Evolution comes out in the next, like, two months, I'm just not going to be able to play it until, like, October. I, I literally just can't. I don't have time. Oh, this is a nice big waste of my time. Boop. That means you'll finish just before my birthday. Well, fin when's your birthday? Finish is a strong term. I'm hoping I can get three hopes and maybe even stray done by the time Whatchamacallsit comes out. I was really hoping you just die to that, to be honest. Hoping to get them done before, uh, oh, dang it. Before Xenoblade 3 and uh, Survive come out. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish Xenoblade 3 and Survive before Soul Hacker comes out. Hopefully, I can finish Survive before Soul Hacker comes out. 